Hi there, thanks for stopping by. My name's Vida Thompson, I'm a resume writer and career coach, and today I'd like to share resume writing tips for new graduates. So if you're a new graduate, and by the way, this can really be considered having graduated within the past three years. I know it can be pretty hard searching for a job when you've just gotten out of university, so I created this video to help out. So as a recent graduate, your most relevant skills are likely to be part of your education. I'm sure you've already listed your diploma or your degree on your resume, but you need to include more than just listing it. You need to include some of the details. You first want to list the names of relevant courses you've completed. I recommend doing this in a course highlight section. Make sure that you list relevant courses. You don't need to include everything you've taken in university, but thinking about the type of role you want to target, think about the courses that are most relevant to that and actually speak to the types of jobs that you want to apply for. So, you know, thinking about someone that might be applying for a marketing role, let's take a look at some of the courses that they might want to include. So this first example includes courses like marketing project management, marketing communications, professional sales, public relations, etc. So this is an example of what you want to do. Second example here includes more general courses that you probably would take in a Bachelor of Commerce degree, but these are not necessarily marketing focused. Finance, English, international business, etc. So this is not exactly what an employer is going to want to see if you're applying for a role in marketing. So after including the course highlights, what you need to do next is think about some of the projects you worked on while in school. So this could include group projects, practical assignments, case studies, maybe even essays that you wrote that include activities and or demonstrate knowledge directly related to your career goals. Group projects are really essential. This will allow you to describe how you worked as a member of a team to work towards a common goal. Any type of real world experience, even if it was not work, but it could have included, you know, creating business plans for a company, maybe even working with companies to help them improve business practices or programs. If you've done anything like this, you definitely want to include it. So when it comes to work experience, you wanna be sure to highlight what's relevant. So no matter what jobs you've had so far, even if they're entirely unrelated to the job you want, try to describe your work experience in a way that's related to your career goals. So let's say it seems totally unrelated. So let's say, again, you want to work in marketing, but all you've done so far is work in retail. Try to think of a way to highlight transferable skills that may be relevant to your desired position. So in any job, there's a good chance you gain experience in, in at least a few of the following activities. Working as a member of a team, communicating with people, which could include customers, coworkers, and supervisors, managing and organizing activities, maintaining records of financial transactions, which could include sales in a store, and promoting and selling products and services to people. So think about how you can present your previous experience to highlight these types of activities. So rather than saying you worked as a retail sales associate, focus on the fact that you promoted and sold products to people. If you were a server, you could focus on how you communicated with people and worked as a member of a team. Maybe you worked in a warehouse. Well, if you did, chances are you worked as a member of a team and managed your own activities to make sure you got things done on time. Just because you don't have the exact same experience as the role you're applying to doesn't mean that you don't have some relevant experience towards it. And if you don't have any work experience yet, make sure to really draw the focus to your educational projects and try to utilize the next section I'm gonna talk about, which is extracurricular activities. So for extracurriculars, you can try to use this section to really stand out. Extracurricular activities are a broad category and this includes volunteer work and community service, clubs, sports, and any kind of leadership examples that are aligned with these. So think about all the activities you've done throughout your years in school. 
Think about any time you volunteered or participated in a club, that counts as relevant experience. As you're thinking about this, try to think of any examples of leadership that you might have had as well. So this could include organizing an event, acting as treasurer of a club, or overseeing volunteer activities on behalf of an organization. Final tip here, if you're lacking in extracurriculars or work experience, why not sign up to volunteer at a few events or send out your resume for some short-term temp jobs? So if you don't have a lot of experience, this is a really quick way to get some. Um, this will help you to quickly build up your resume and demonstrate some recent and relevant skills. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you found these tips helpful. If you're looking for more help with your resume, download my resume checklist. It's got all of my top tips for what you need to do to write an effective resume. Thanks.